new pop style bracelet maker. Here's everything you need to know to make your new favorite bracelets. Inside every box, you'll find materials to make and remake 10 bracelets. Your pop style bracelet maker with storage tray, beads, elastics, four sticker sheets, and an instruction sheet. Setup is easy. Just line up the top of the bracelet maker with the base, like this. Then firmly push down until you hear both sides click in. Ask a parent for help if you need it. To open up the storage compartment at the bottom, just twist counterclockwise to unlock it. Here's where you can store all your beautiful beads and elastics. Now it's time to make your first bracelet. Choose which elastic colors you want to use and slide them onto the bracelet maker. Try to keep them snug to the machine so they don't stretch too much and snap. They should rest in the grooves like this. And remember to only use the elastics provided. When your elastics are in place, press down on the button once to pop them out. Now pick your beads. You can mix and match colors and styles to find the perfect look. When you're ready, start adding the beads to the elastics. Carefully hook on the top, then the bottom. Slide the beads side to side to make sure it's on properly. Keep adding your beads. Start by adding only two beads between each purple arm. You can always adjust the size later by adding or removing beads. Do one final check to make sure each of your beads can easily slide side to side. Once all your beads are in place, pop it up. Wow! Now you can remove your new bracelet and try it on. Carefully take it off the bracelet maker and shimmy it onto your wrist, making sure it doesn't twist around. Now show off your new look. So cool! You can use the stickers to add letters and customize. If you want to use the chain beads, line them up like this. <laughs> so cute! If you want to change some of your beads or remake your bracelet, carefully slide down your bracelet back over the bracelet maker. The bracelet should rest here. Slide the beads around to make sure none of them are in front of the purple arms. Then press the button down to pop it out. Now you can swap out any beads you'd like. The easiest way to remove a bead is to push it in and up. Then flip it back and unhook it and pull it off. You can change your beads again and again for endless possibilities. Put it back on the bracelet maker if you want to adjust the size of your bracelet. Too loose? Remove a bead to make it tighter. Or if it's too tight, add beads to fill in gaps in your bracelet. There, it fits just right. If you notice one of the beads is flipped or falling off, ask a friend for help. They should pull away the beads on either side of the flipped bead. This gives you the space to hook the bead back on the elastic. If this doesn't work, you can remove the bead entirely, like this. Add it back onto the bracelet maker and reattach the bead. The same thing will work if your bracelet gets tangled on the machine. Simply remove the bracelet, straighten it, and reattach the beads with the help of a friend, or by putting it back on the bracelet maker. If an elastic gets stuck around the top of the bracelet maker, use the groove on the side to get your finger underneath and pull the elastic off. Press down on the top as you pull it out. If an elastic gets stuck on the bottom stem, you can use a sharpened pencil to hook it and pull it up and off. In order to keep your pop style bracelet maker popping smoothly, be sure to only store it like this with the purple arms in. If you did leave them out, just pop them back in and let it rest for five minutes. Then it should be ready to go. Now you're ready to make and remake bracelets as many times as you want. Change up your style to match any outfit. Thanks for popping by.